Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today for our devotion teaching series called Jurassic Smart's Creation versus Evolution. And today we're going to finish up the series with a teaching called, Who Cares If They Teach Evolution? Some people say, what's the difference if they teach evolution or not in the public school system or in other places? Well, I just want to go over that today. But before I do, your scripture verse for this week is Romans chapter 1, verse 22, which says, Although they claim to be wise, they became fools. So if you send us that scripture verse along with the keyword that I'm going to give you in just a minute during the teaching, Teaching, we'll send you one of our weekly prize packs in the mail. On to who cares if they teach evolution. Well, I care, a lot of Christians care, and a lot of Christian leaders care, and here's four reasons why we are concerned about the teaching of the theory of evolution. Number one, evolution is, and always has been, an unproven theory. There is no undisputable evidence of the theory of evolution. Most evidence that people look at is simply interpreted based on what the particular person that's looking at it believes. There are no transitional forms of fossils that we found or missing links showing how one type of lower form of life evolved into another type. They just don't exist. There's been a lot of discoveries that people thought were missing links, and they've always been proven to not actually be missing links, like Ida and Archaeopteryx and some different things like that. There's been plenty of hoaxes, though. Java Man, Piltdown Man, Peking, all been claimed to be missing links, but they're certainly not, and many times they're not even real. They were fakes, things that people faked to try to show the theory was true when it was not. And just because people say it over and over again doesn't make it true. Somebody once said, if you say something loud enough, long enough, people will believe it's true. Unfortunately, a lot of people have bought into the theory of evolution. But just because people say it over and over again doesn't make it true. Number two, evolution theory devalues. It robs God of his glory and creativity. When somebody just says everything came from a random chance explosion billions of years ago, it takes away from the fact that God is the creator and the designer of all the wonders that we see around us. It also robs humans of their God-given importance. The Bible says that we are the crown of God's creation, that we were very good when he formed Adam out of the dust of the ground and then made Eve, that we are important because we are created in God's image, not evolved from a pile of goo. Darwin's theory of evolution teaches that some groups of humans are less evolved than others. And boy, has that caused some problems in the world. Think of World War II and a fellow named Adolf Hitler that believed that the Germans were a superior race. Ephesians 2.10 says we are God's workmanship. In other words, we are created the way God wanted us to be as humans, not evolved for some explosion and blob of goo millions of years ago. Number three, evolution misleads innocent people, especially children. By the way, that is your keyword, children. From the time kids are tiny, tiny, all the way through their years, they're taught in school, they see it on TV, they hear it in music and movies, etc., that millions and millions of years ago there was a big bang and we all evolved from a random accidental explosion and here we are as human beings today. Well, I think that's just misleading. The Bible says that we are specifically created to do good works that God planned for us from the very beginning. So I think ev evolution misleads innocent children. It even misleads some well-meaning adults. Well, I was in high school, maybe not a full adult yet, and I sat there in biology class and looked at the pictures that showed the progression of man from monkeys to modern man, and I just sat there and thought, oh, okay, so that's how it all happened. All the while, even from my own church teaching that I was sitting in, was never really told the other side of the story about how we were created in God's image in six days, the heavens and the earth were created, and that God rested on the seventh. Number four and the last thing, I believe evolution is a tax-supported religion in this country. I call it a religion because you have to believe evolution because it is unprovable by the scientific method. A famous scientist many years ago, Sir Arthur Keith, said, quote, Evolution is unproved and unprovable. We believe it only because the only alternative is special creation, and that is unthinkable. And therein lies one of the big problems with the theory of evolution is that Christianity is not allowed to be taught in schools because it is a belief. It is not particularly provable. And evolution is not provable. It is a belief, yet our tax dollars pay for it to be taught to kids every day in school. And I definitely have a problem with that. So who cares if they teach evolution? Well, I certainly do, because I know in whom I believe, and I believe in the Creator God that has made each and every one of us as a special creation from His heart to our lives. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for all we are in your creation and how you've blessed us with life by creating us in your image. Thank you that we have purpose and we have meaning. 
because we didn't come from a pile of goo millions of years ago. We came from the thought of your mind to existence on this planet. We love you and thank you in Jesus' name. Everybody said, 